I want to invite Sue Ann uh, Sally up to the stage. Um, uh, Sue Ann and uh, Jerry are um, two members here at Refuge, and they've done uh, just a lot of great work just in, in their lives. And, um, and I just wanted to say thank you for just how much of a blessing you've been to my life and to our church and everything. Uh, but a few, uh, last year they came to me uh, talking about that they're, they're seeing a need in our church uh, for, uh, for some of the things that she's going to be talking about. So I want to just pass the microphone to you. I don't want to step on your toes or anything like that. And, uh, but I want you guys to hear what she has to say. And I want you to hear about what uh, the Lord has been placing on her and her husband's heart about how they're going to be able to serve our church and uh, maybe anyone who might be orbiting around our church. So. Thanks, Blake. So I want to start with behold. Behold. Life can deliver some tough blows to us. We know that. We've experienced that recently in our church. But God's grace enables us to go from strength to strength through all these trials. Jerry and I have started a group that will be here on Wednesday nights at 7 o'clock, and it's called Grace Group. How appropriate to your preaching today, Scott. So Grace Group is a group of men and women who seek to share their experience, strength, and hope with each other that we may recover from whatever issues we may have. We help each other and then we reach out to help those around us. This is a safe place to share and to learn about grace and hope. We're not a 12-step group, although we will talk about the 12 steps. We're not a Bible study, although we will talk about gospel. What we are is just a safe place to come and share and ask questions and support. 2 Corinthians 12.9 promises that God's grace is sufficient, that it is made perfect in our weakness. So please come Wednesday nights at 7 o'clock right here at the Refuge Church where we'll be killing the sin before it be killing us. <laughs> Thank you.